Welcome back to Fry Minis, I'm Eric, and today we're going to try to figure out what kind of game you're running. Before we get started with today's quick video, I want to say thank you to everyone watching. We've just met our March goal of 500 subscribers, so that means we're on to the next goal of 1,000. The Fry Minis March to 500 giveaway continues to run through the end of the month, and we're going to announce the winners in a live stream here on YouTube next Saturday, April 3rd. So if you haven't yet entered, you've still got a little bit of time, but get those entries in. So to everybody out there, thanks for sticking around and helping Fry Minis continue to grow. All right, so one of the most common points of frustration I see between players and other players or players and DMs is the level of seriousness or focus in your game. Are you at the table to sit down and play Dungeons and Dragons? Or are you there to socialize with friends for a couple hours? You'll probably end up somewhere in the middle of that spectrum, but some players might not. So it's really important to get everybody in the same ballpark. If you ever catch our live streams, you've met my wife, Julie. Excellent. Hi, cool. welcome. Generally, she enjoys Dungeons and Dragons, but I feel like she would be totally fine if we all sat at a table and just talked through the stories and didn't even think one second about a mechanic. I tend to prefer playing the game and actually sticking to how the game works. You don't have to have everybody dialed in to the exact same preferences to have a successful table, but it's important that everybody understands where that middle point is going to be. Despite our slightly differing views, we're able to play together because we understand where each one's coming from. We understand I'm here and you're there and we're gonna meet in the middle and it works out. The potential problem here is when somebody comes to the table with a wildly different expectation of the game and they're not on the same page and they don't realize that it's not going to be what they had in their head. That's why running a session zero or talking about how the game is going to work before the game actually starts is so important. And if you ever have a player join after you've already started the campaign, don't be afraid to have a second session 0.5. And just remember, this might all change too. You might start off the game with everybody on the same page. No, we're playing a serious game. This is going to be spooky and grim dark. But then it just evolves and changes, and that's okay too. Just be sure to maintain open and honest lines of communication between the players, other players, and DMs. If you need some ideas on how to do that, check out my video on how to engage players. If you show up to a session that isn't what you want, it isn't what you expected, you're going to be frustrated. And that frustration creates tension. That's totally normal and totally human. Just speak up, raise your hand. There might be somebody else in that same boat with you. So yeah, again, this is a quick video this week. I just wanted to get that out here. This topic has been uh, burning a hole in my pocket for a while. Thank you to all my patrons for supporting the channel. And I'd like to give a special thank you to Brian F for upgrading to the platinum tier of the Spud Club. The best way to help out Fry Minis is through Patreon. All these minis and paints and everything, they add up. So uh, your help is appreciated. And also, I'd love to see you over on our Discord if you haven't already joined. Come chat, hang out, and join us for a painting session. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.